Hey, this is William Bowman. I'm recording this video for Ricky over at RM Tree Service. Thanks so much for allowing me to record this video, Ricky. If you could just please give me some feedback on how I can maybe make this better. What I wanted to do is I wanted to cover your site and then I want to cover your competitor's site and kind of show you the volume that's going over to your competitor's site and how you can make some changes to your site. That way you can start redirecting that volume to you instead. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to cover was your site. Um, it's a Google site. Uh, it's one of their Google business sites. It's, it's, a, it's a good site. Um, right now it's still set up as one of these business sites through Google. This can kind of throw off the rankings and I will show you exactly what I mean on that here in a second. Um, the one thing that I do like is the fact that you've already uploaded quite a few photos, um, which is good. Um, the only thing that you're kind of missing on the page right now is content. Um, so you want anywhere between 1,000 to 1,500 words of content on uh, on your on your page and there's a reason for that right um, the reason is because you want to be able to slip in what are called keywords and keywords are simply just what somebody would throw into Google in order to find your service right so if I throw in tree service El Paso I'm going to show you exactly what uh, pops up so the first thing is you're going to see a bunch of ads I'm glad to see you're not here because a lot of people just see the fact that they're ads and they just keep moving. <laughs> uh, the next area, this is uh, the map pack, the Google map pack. This is a great place to be. This can increase your volume by quite a bit. I am super happy that you are here and you're not just here, you're in first place. So that's great. Um, I would just continue watching this and maybe do some searches while you're around town for tree service El Paso and just see if you maintain that first place, right? Because it depends on the geographic location of who's doing the searching. So this is great that I see you here and you have it linked to your website, which is awesome. Um, the next area is, this is called the organic search area. And this is the area where I feel like you would get the most benefit of focusing on. So when we look at the organic search area, the only way to get here is through optimizing your site to be here. You can't pay to be to the top of this list. So I want to open up El Paso Tree Service and kind of show you their site. You know, they have they have a decent site. You know, they have the uh, quote, they have the the uh, pictures. If you notice, they have quite a bit of content, and it's this content with these keywords that's kind of allowing them to rank up to be number one for this spot. They also have a couple other things, but instead of kind of going through their pages, what I'd rather do is I'd rather show you underneath the hood. So when we pop over here, this is underneath the hood for uh, for your site. Um, let me show you their site really quickly. So whenever we show, whenever we pop into their site, what we're seeing is all of these figures. And let me explain what all of these figures mean. So you have the UR. This is a URL rating. Um, this is like the trustworthiness of your site. And then you have the DR. This is a domain rating. This is like the power or the reputation of your site. So both of these are from 0 to 100. And the higher the score, the better. Now, these are key indicators as to where you would actually appear on the Google search uh, list whenever somebody puts in a word, any of the organic words that you're actually ranking for. Um, the way to raise these two numbers is through the usage of backlinks. And backlinks are simply just like, imagine if somebody's writing a blog and they said, you know, R&M Tree Service is the best in town, go use them, and then it put a link to your site. That's a high quality backlink that you can get. And I always say, focus on high quality backlinks. So backlinks from sites that are in your industry or that are part of a blog that have a good traffic following. Um, so there's other types of backlinks, like imagine going to BBB and putting your information there, not paying the yearly, uh, the yearly membership fee, but just literally just putting your information on BBB. That's called, that's what we call a citation. And that is a form of a backlink. It's just not as high quality. And you'll notice that when these numbers get out of whack like this, it's because they have a high number of citations that are raising the UR and a low number of quality backlinks, such as blog, blog uh, links. Um, so they have 18 different sites sending them a total of 31 links. And But let's look into the keywords. Let's see what kind of keywords they're using. So, sorry about that. So if we pop over here, we pop over to their keywords. What we're going to see here is we're going to see the keyword. So this is the exact keyword that somebody's throwing in. And then you see the volume of searches on average per month and what rank they're in. So if we come down, we're going to see that they have quite a few. Tree Removal El Paso, 40, on average 40, 40 searches every single month, and they're ranked number one. Um, let's see here. Tree Trimmers in my area. Trees in El Paso, 60 a month. El Paso Tree Lighting, 30. Trees that grow in El Paso. Um, so you're getting kind of the uh, 
you're, you're getting kind of the idea behind what keywords and kind of how these volumes can add up. Now, I do recommend not shooting for something like this. This is a national keyword, so I know it has a high volume, but the problem with this is that if somebody searches this in Chicago, they may find you, but they're not going to be able to use your services, right? Because it's uh, <laughs> they're too far from your location. So make sure that you're putting in the location of the area that you actually want to rank for. Now, I do want to show you another one really quickly, just so that you get an idea of some other keywords, because this, this site honestly didn't have too many of the keywords that you would want to focus on. And I want to give you some examples of some keywords that would help you or that you can include inside your, uh, your actual content. Um, because they only had one for El Paso that I thought was a really good keyword. Um, so now if we move over here, tree removal El Paso, Texas, tree removal El Paso. You see how both of these are a little bit different. This one adds the Texas, but it's different volumes. So that's a good example right there. You want to focus on all of the keywords that you possibly can for all of this volume of landscaping El Paso. If you do more than just landscape, it, more than just trees, you can grab that one. Let's see here. Tree land, trees in El Paso, landscaping El Paso. So some other keywords that I would focus on that I notice have good volume is tree services El Paso, and then tree trimming El Paso, and then tree removal El Paso. You know, those are some good keywords there. And I'm noticing that your competition doesn't really understand how to find those keywords. So that's really great for you if you implement them. But let's go and take a look at your site. And remember whenever I was telling you how this site can basically throw off the rankings, it's not in a good way. I know these numbers seem so much higher, but it's any business site through Google, when it's still registered to the domain that's basically owned by Google, it will show this exact ranking. And I'll show you an example. Here's another site, Texas Affordable Trees and Landscaping. That's also a dot business site. So if we go over here, you can see that this is another Google site. You know, it's not your company, but it has the exact same rankings as yours. And the reason to that is because um, is because basically what's happening is that uh, sorry about that. Um, what's going on is that the uh, the site is actually picking up your site as if you uh, are a portion of Google. Um, so that's not good because it's not going to give you a realistic understanding of where your site actually sits. So my first recommendation is to move this over to a domain that makes sense for your area. So RM Tree Service, great, or maybe even El Paso Tree Service dot com, and then that be your site. And you can actually move this over through Google. They they can show you how to do that. Um, but if you notice here, it doesn't matter how high these numbers are if you don't have any organic keywords or you don't have any backlinks this is number one priority so definitely go ahead and get some content on here number two start creating some backlinks maybe just going around you know easy backlinks that you can make starting off just go and make some citations right just run around and go go make some citations on sites like directory sites like yellow pages and things like that um, you already know how to optimize your GMB so this is a great job on this but that's just what I recommend here for your actual site so that you can actually start tapping into the volume that these guys are getting um, because these guys they're ranked number three on some of the words you know, they're getting 42 people on average coming to their site every single month. And then if we look at these guys, uh, that's the same one, sorry. If we go to El Paso Trees, they're getting on average 263 people coming to their site every single month. So, you know, th this is just good examples of... Uh, of what you can do. If you have any questions or you feel like I could have explained something a little bit better, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. I would love to uh, get some feedback and understand how I can make these videos better and easier to implement for you guys. Uh, but thank you so much and I hope you have a great day.